All right, TurboTax selling your primary home and putting that in here. Let's get going here. Okay, this is what we got. Um, I guess before we get into actually inputting this into TurboTax, this are, sorry, these are the documents we'll need to get this done, okay? You'll need the 1099S, um, which reports <clears throat> the amount that the house sold for. You'll need the closing statement that you got that has all those like debits and credits for all those miscellaneous fees, plus like the, you know, the amount you paid for commission to the realtors. If you paid uh, for any improvements to your house throughout the time that you live there, like let's say you built a fence or you put a new roof on this thing or you know you did an addition, you remodeled the kitchen, yada, yada, yada. Any of those, we need like total amounts that you paid for improvements on the property um, as that can help out with taxes. <clears throat> and you need the purchase price and the date that you bought the house for. Okay, now once we have that cleared away, we're ready to go. All right, here is where we get this done in TurboTax. Okay, and I'm gonna get some documents ready for us too. Okay, there's that. Seller's closing statement, got one redacted. Okay, good deal. Um, and then a 1099S redacted. Okay, and we got one of those ready. Okay, deal. Back to TurboTax. Sale of your main home. Okay, there it is. Um, where's the question here? Did you sell? Yeah, our home in 2021, we did. All right, <clears throat> sold the home. If you made money on the sale of home, we can find out if this is tax-free. Okay, generally speaking, what this is kind of going into, generally speaking, when you sell your main home, you don't pay taxes on it because we get this exclusion from tax of 250 if you're single or 500 if you're married on the gain of the sale of the house. Now, the gain is figured on the difference between the purchase and the sales price minus you know, a lot of those fees that you're paying for in terms of on the transactions, for the commissions, et cetera, and then also minus any of those improvements that you've made to the property, okay? So that's what this is saying here, which is what we're gonna need, date you sold, selling price, date you bought, purchase price, the improvement, 1099C, um, if you did a short sale, but you'll have the 1099S, right, is, is which looks something like this, um, this is more common is what we get, okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> the address, our address we always use, 123 Main, Newport Beach, CA 92660. There we go, continue. All right, did you receive a 1099S? We'll say yes, here it is, okay? It's gonna have the closing date and the amount that we sold it for, okay? Um, so that's what we'll do. <laughs> Date sold, uh, 10, and that, again, it has it right here. Date sold, there it is. 10-7-2021, 10-7-2021, selling price, 773, whoops, 3300, three, zero, zero. there it is. Sales expenses, okay, here we go, right? That's where we're gonna need this guy here, okay? This is the um, the closing statement. You're going to get this from, geez, I'm not exactly sure. It's either like the title company or the escrow company. They will provide this for you, okay? Uh, this is obviously a closing statement that is different from the 1099S, uh, but nonetheless, it, it's pretty similar, right? 1.5 mil, they sold this one. That's pretty good. Um, but anyways, we'll be able to deduct, right? These, these are selling expenses commissions, right? That were paid minus this credit, actually. So this is how we would do this. We're gonna take a look here. Three one zero 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 plus three eight seven five zero. Man, they make a lot of money doing that. Minus seven seven five zero. Okay, this is what we paid. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. All these title charges are um, deductible too. So we're gonna add those in. Three two one one plus one seven zero five plus six two point five plus five. There we go. Okay, uh, escrow charges as well. We'll get those. Okay equals all right 70k we're at let's see here loan payoff okay that's not an expense there that's paying off your old loan taxes <clears throat> 
that should actually go as an itemized deduction. This would not be a selling expense, okay? So let's see here. And then um, warranty, if you gotta pay for the warranty, hazard fee, time, all these would be selling expenses too. So let's add those in, plus 730, plus 94.95, plus 30, plus 75. All right, 71K is what we get as a selling expense, okay? Let's do it, 71262.7, there we go. All right, zero. Add some change there too. All right, continue. We'll say yes. There we go. There it is. Deal continue. Um, date we bought the house. So um, you should be able to get this from, there's like a closing statement then too. I don't have an example of that, but nonetheless, you should be able to get that there. Um, if not, a lot of times, <clears throat> Also, what I'll do is um, on Zillow, they have like records of these things. So you can just look up your address on Zillow and you can see, you know, date and purchase price. You probably already know what you bought the thing for, but nonetheless, um, put it in there. I'm just going to make this up here. 20, we'll say uh, five. There we go. Adjusted cost basis. So adjusted cost basis, they're going to say, you know, um, any of the improvements, right? We can add the improvements here. So the original cost plus improvements essentially is what it is, okay? But these are, are, are a little less common um, in terms of figuring this, but uh, nonetheless, that's the most common. You go the purchase price plus improvements. So let's say, right, we sold this 700,000, let's say we bought it for uh, 450. Plus we had 100,000 in what do we call it, improvements? So 550 is what we put into this house. Okay, continue. Time you live in the home. So this is how you get the exclusion. So like I said at the beginning, normally people don't pay taxes when they sell their primary home because you get to exclude up to either 250, 250,000 of the gain um, when you sell, right? Let's see here, up to $250,000 of the gain if you're single or 500,000 if you're married filing jointly. So, but you only get those exclusion if you live there two out of the last five years. And that's what this is 24 consecutive months, or they don't have to be consecutive. So um, two out of the last five years before you sell, that's exactly what this is explaining here, okay? Did you leave there is what it's saying. I'm gonna say, yes, I did. It was my primary home. Did you use the home for anything other than the primary home? No, this is only my house here. I didn't use it for uh, a rental or anything like that. Uh, did you sell another main home? No, this I've been there since, what did I say, 2005. Been there for a while. Uh, did you either did you do either the following with your main home? Take office deduction or rent it out? No, I have not, okay? Exclusion, you don't have to pay any income tax on the sale. There it is, there's my gain, 152, because um, I get the 250,000 as an exclusion as single. And that's it, I think, hopefully. Let's see, what else? Do you think you will sell another primary? Ah, tax strategy. I'm gonna say no, I'm not gonna sell that. Okay, there we go. So sales price, so I'm reporting it, but it's not getting taxed. Awesome. All right, that's it. All right, TurboTax deductions and credits. Let's go, let's get this done here. All right, 